E E I killed fake out a week ago Friday, so in eight days we killed our top two hit list bucks here in Arkansas, and they're both studs. I mean, I'm talking studs. What a beauty. There were many great lessons from Heath and Lindsay's hunt, and I want to share one of them with you. You may have noticed that right in front of their blind was a code blue mock scrape. This scrape played a key role in tagging squiggles. The food plot Heath and Lindsay were hunting is a large feeding plot, several acres, and figuring out where deer are gonna pass within bow range can be tricky. A mock scrape like Heath had created within bow range of his blind is one of my favorite techniques for creating a bottleneck. A bottleneck or pinch point is simply something that funnels deer within range of the hunter. If you watch closely, Squiggles walks toward the mock scrape and turns his nose to do a scent check as he passes by. Squiggles didn't work the scrape, but he walked close enough to scent check it, and that's all that was necessary to put him within bow range of heat. Had the mock scrape not been present, Squiggles could have easily passed the blind out of range. I have used this same technique for many years and tagged several bucks near mock scrapes. Mock scrapes are a great tool to get bucks within range, no matter the size of the plot. Even in small hideo plots, bucks can often pass out of range. <laughs>